Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I normally do, but uh, it's on a question that I get asked a lot on my channel, and that is, how do you color coordinate your makeup to your outfit? And um, before we get started, let me just say that it's not 100% necessary to color coordinate your makeup to your outfit, but I guess I kind of naturally do color coordinate my makeup with my outfit quite a lot, and so people have noticed, and so on some videos where it's particularly, I guess, working well together, people ask me, like, how do you do that? So when we're talking about coordinating, you know, these things together, we're not talking about matching. You don't want to be too matchy-matchy. You know, like I have on a blue shirt today, you could potentially wear blue eyeshadow with it. What I'm talking more about is just coordinating kind of the tone with it. So this is a cool blue shirt, let's say, and I have done a cool makeup look with it. And I think that's what makes the whole look kind of harmonious. I've also put on silver jewelry, which tends to gravitate more towards the cool side. So rather than talk about um, color theory and color wheels and things like that, that can get a little bit confusing, I thought we'd make it a little bit simpler today and just talk about um, warms, neutrals, and cools. For those of you who don't know how to uh, figure out what your undertones are, one of the easiest ways to do it is to look at the veins in your wrist. So if you look at your wrist and you see like purple or blue, then that means that you probably have cool undertones in your skin. And if you look there and you see green, it probably means that you have warm undertones in your skin. And if you look at your wrist and you're like, what the? I don't know what she's talking about, it just looks greenish bluish to me, kind of turquoise, then you're most likely a mix of warm and cool, which makes you a neutral. Another way to figure out your skin's undertones is to do like a jewelry test. So silver and gold are really good ways to do it. So if you put on, say, some silver jewelry on your skin and it just does not look good, then you probably are not a cool tone person. But if you put on silver and it looks great, then you probably have cooler undertones. If you take something gold and hold it up to your skin and it just doesn't look right, then you probably are not a warm person. Um, you may be a warm person, but your skin tone might not be warm. But if you hold it up and it looks fantastic, then you might have warm undertones in your skin. And if you hold up silver and gold and you think, wow, those both look fantastic, I can rock both, then it's either that you have a giant ego or that you have neutral undertones, meaning you have both warm and cool in your skin. But the good news about makeup, jewelry, clothes these days is that all rules are out the window, thank goodness, finally, and you can wear whatever you want. So the way I get ready in the morning is I get dressed first and I put on my makeup second. So I wear pretty much what I feel like wearing that day and then I coordinate my makeup with it. I don't have a color wheel pinned up at my makeup table, which who does? And that's another reason to not get into pretty much color wheels and complementary colors and trying to pick what's on the opposite side. And on the color wheel, you would look across from the blue top and you would see yellow, um, which would mean you'd have to wear yellow makeup, and that just doesn't make any sense. I tend to like to put cool makeup with a cool colored outfit and warm makeup with a warm colored outfit. So the makeup that I'm wearing today is definitely like on the cooler side. So just to show you the palette that I use, this is from MAC, and this one is called the Cool Neutral Palette. So you could use this to do a cool toned look or a neutral toned look. If you buy eyeshadow palettes, you can buy cool palettes and then you'll know to use a cool palette when you have on a cool colored top like this. So I went for more of a silver gray pink look on the eye today and a palette that I might have used to coordinate with this top that's a cool palette is the Dior 757 Dream. These are kind of cool neutrals. They're pinks and mauves and kind of purpley eggplanty colors. They're definitely on the cool side. This would have made a great look with this top. Now to coordinate the whole cool look, I did a cooler blush and a cooler lip as well. Because of course in pink there are warms and cools. So just to illustrate that, the blush I use today is the Milani Tea Rose blush. This is a pink that's on the cooler side, but there are also blushes that are pink that are on the warmer side. I mean, you could definitely use either blush with this. It's not going to make or break the look, but you know, just when I'm coordinating like this, I like to go with a cooler pink when I'm wearing like a cooler eye and a cooler lip. So the lippy that I'm using today is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid uh, sheer liquid lipstick. This is in sheer patina and this is a really cool tone pink and so it kind of just balances out and coordinates with the eye look with the pinks and the silvers and the grays um, and it all goes so nicely with the blue. Here are three liquid lipsticks and they're varying levels of 
cool and warm. So the coolest one is the one I'm wearing. That's this one over here from Stila. Then this is a pink from Urban Decay called Naked in their Vice Liquid Lipstick. And then the warmest one that I'm showing here is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Pink Really Hard. So you can see even in the realm of pink there are warm pinks and cool pinks. And that goes for all the colors. So let's say you wanted to do a pop of red on the lip. Well there are warm reds and there are cool reds. So this is a YSL lipstick. This is an Urban Decay Hey, lipstick. So the warm ones tend to be a little bit more orangey. That's definitely a warmer red and that's definitely a cooler red, which is uh, just has a little bit more blue in it. So here's an example of that warm red lipstick with a neutral outfit. So it's a black and white dress with a neutral silver and gold jewelry. And I did a warmer eye with it. A really great warm palette for eyeshadow if you like warm and if you gravitate more towards warm uh, undertones is this Makeup Geek palette. This is the In the Nude palette. And this is a very warm leaning palette. Things leaning more towards the orange side of the spectrum. So the browns have more orange in them. The pinks have more orange in them. The tans have a little more uh, sand in them. So that's what makes this a warm palette. And then looking at like a neutral eyeshadow palette, there's this one from Violet Voss. This is their taupe notch palette. And taupes tend to be uh, much more to the cool side, I think. But this one is really a neutral kind of taupey palette. It has a mix of kind of warms and cools, but none of them go really way over to the cool side or way over to the warm side. So this tends to be more of just a neutral neutral palette. So let me bring in an example of a warm look where I have on a warm uh, turquoise teal colored sweater and for the face I went with all warm shades. So I did a very warm eyeshadow look, a very warm lipstick color, and you can see how that all kind of coordinates and harmonizes together. And yet another way to coordinate your outfit with your makeup is say you're wearing something with a pattern and a lot of color, you can pick out one of the colors from your outfit and wear that on your lip or make your eyeshadow match it. I would pick out one of these really pretty colors from in here and try to get my lipstick to match that. So this Hourglass Girl lipstick in Activist is a really nice complement to the colors in this top. And just the last example that I'm going to bring in is where I had on kind of a cool outfit with a cool makeup look and then I put on a jarring pop of a bright uh, warm red lip and you can just see how it just kind of clashes with everything that's going on there. So that's why it can be a nice thing to think about to coordinate your makeup with your outfit, but you don't necessarily have to. If it's something that you want to do and something that you find makes your look just a little more balanced, a little more harmonious, a little more cohesive, then by all means give it a try and do it. If you make a mistake, you know, don't worry about it. It's just makeup. It's just clothes. Have fun with it, express yourself, you know, do what you want to do. There are no rules, certainly. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and um, found it helpful and informative, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.